right guys so this is what i'm using right here just a pink jig head with a white curly tail grub i got my ultralight um fluger try on on a seven foot shakespeare micro series rod i'm gonna all we're doing is casting a bit against the cover letting it sink reeling it in different just look at that oh using different methods golly God. <laughs> I was trying to explain to you guys what we were doing. I actually almost had one. Set the hook into the tree. Yeah. Almost knocked down a tree on top of the boat. Um, but yeah, we're just casting in the cover. Getting it stuck. Well, that, was, that, was, that, was that was a fish, wasn't it? Was I saw it running away. I thought it was stuck at first. He pulled it out of the snag. All right. Third attempt here. Let's try this one more time. All we're doing is casting it into the cover. That wasn't in the cover <laughs> but yeah we're casting it you guys get the idea we're casting it in the cover letting it sink reeling it slow giving it a couple pops and uh trying to get into some big bluegills they are there i see them i'm about to get smoked we've been going up and down the spillway just just flipping into the cover catching big one we're gonna catch a few big ones on camera and then uh we're gonna go dock up I'm up here in a little bit and make us some fish sandwiches. A little how to, uh, not a how to, a catch and cook. I mean, it is a how to. Yeah, I guess so. I'll break it's down. A how to combo. There he is. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's. Oh, wow. I don't, know where it is. I don't know, but it's something good size. I saw the side of it. That's exactly what we're after right there, guys. Oh, it came off. Look at this. That is a big bluegill, guys. That's exactly what we're going to be frying up here in a little bit. Catch a couple of these, put them on ice, and I'll tell you guys why later on, why we're doing that. And, uh, and we're going to fry them up. Let's catch a couple more of those. That is, that is some fun stuff, catching them on these micro rods. It's addicting. <laughs> it, it is. Like, I wanted a bass fish, but then I didn't want to put this down. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. And you like, one more cast, one more cast. It's just, just like bass fishing. It's hard to stop. Oh, a big one just came up. Oh, look at that. He got it, too. Ah, got it. <laughs> that's a good one. It's another slab. Oh, that's a pretty one. Oh, that's a giant. Oh, dang. That is a monster. Oh, God. God. Look at the Things size of it. Man. Let's measure that one. Yeah, let's measure this one. God, let's just, I bet this is about a pound and a half easy. That's, wow. That thing is massive. I saw him come up too, right before I called it. Look at the size of this, guys. Like, look at my hand. Wow. That is a freaking tank of a bluegill. Jeez, let's put them on the measuring board just for kicks. I would say he's about seven inches. I would say seven, eight, nine, ten, right there. Wow, that's big for a bluegill though. Seven inch bluegill. It's gonna make a good sandwich. Here he is. Oh, I had one hit it right here. I was looking at you. A good one. He's fighting like a good one. I'll let you get up front. Grab that net. We don't want to do that. Oh, shit. Came off. Okay. Wow, that was a freaking disaster. I was looking at the net and we and lost the <laughs> net, the fish. Almost lost me. <laughs> Golly, what a disaster that went. He lives to fight another day. Yeah. How about we don't do that again? Seems like those big ones are just stacked in that same spot. Right in that little hole right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, that was just a money cast away where it landed, how it landed. We both knew that was gonna be a fish. Oh, he's smaller than he looked. Yeah, we'll let him get make it. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, we're also using, this is a four pound crappie line. That's what I have on these reels. It's a nice one, but we'll let them make it. I personally enjoy catching them more like this. 
because you don't have to fool with worms or crickets or anything no live bait fingers don't get all dirty it's just so much easier and it's actually cheaper because you go and pay what like five bucks for a thing of worms nowadays and these grubs right here cost i want to say it's a whole pack of like six of them for a dollar 27 so comes with the jig head the hooks everything you need while i'm yapping away oscar sitting ripping lips over here Ha, <laughs> he jumped like a bass. That was cool. Can you get him or you need the neck? Got him? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a Mondo. Heck, yeah. Those are uh, shell crackers. That's what those are called. Those get pretty big. They get even bigger than that. There he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's very big, though. That was cool. Oh. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, dang, that's a good one. <laughs> Double in it. Look at that. Same size. Same size. Yeah. We'll throw both of them in there and uh, we'll count how many we got. And but Let's go. Look at that. We got a nice little cooler full. Got him? There he is. Doubled up, baby. Doubled up. It's a bigger one, ain't it? Yeah, that one's bigger. Yeah, we'll keep that one. Yours is good, too. Oh, shit. Scared a cat. <laughs> he freaking thumped. I was a crappie, that's why. I was like, he thumped the crap out of it. It didn't feel like a bluegill. cleaning them got a my boy mg that was actually out here fishing at the spillway as well he's gonna eat a sandwich with us speaking of mg so me and mg are fishing a tournament when is it next month mg yeah I'm november 6. 6th we are fishing a tournament at cattle lake um <laughs> we're gonna do a little pre-fishing before i really don't know that lake too much i've already been out there one time fishing we're gonna do a little bit of pre-fishing out there me and him this will be the first tournament video on the channel we actually tried to do it last year before COVID hit and then everything got shut down. So we never got to do our tournament videos. Some of you have actually asked for that. Some of you wanted to see this catch and cook. So we're going to do all of that. But today we're going to make some fish sandwiches. You guys saw me catch them already. I'm going to go over real quick with you guys how I'm going to make these fish. AMG has never had bluegill. So I'm excited to let him try it. Let's get started. We'll see. I'll show you guys what I'm, I'm going to mix it all up with and uh, we'll try them out. All right, so here's our fillets. We filleted a couple. We still have some in the live well, but this is what we filleted just for us three. I got my boy Oscar with me as well. You guys saw him. Um, what I'm actually gonna do, well, let me show you guys the fillets. We have one crappie in here as well, but some good sized fillets right here. Look at that. I'm gonna dip them in this Frank's Red Hot um, hot sauce first. I like to eat mine with a little bit of spice. MG, he's a big spice guy too. We're gonna dip them in here first. Dip them in here. Bam, bam, get them nice and covered. We got the, the grease over there, get it nice and warm. Let's go throw one on the grease real quick. Let's see if it's hot enough. Shouldn't look like it is. Uh, not quite. Still needs a little bit more. So what I have in here, I have some milk and two eggs 
and I'm just dipping them in there. Put them over here. Get away, B. I usually let my my fillets soak in the hot sauce for a little while, but really didn't have too much time today. All right, let's go check on that grease. Oh, it's hot now. It's hopping. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks good right there. Put them on there for about five minutes, five six minutes. Smell them, you smell them, Oscar. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I think he's got. Yeah, I was gonna say, hold that for me, if you don't mind. Oh, get that fish out that oil. Cool down. You think these are good, Eddie? Well, guys, this is the final product right here. Little catch and cook sandwich off the back here at the spillway. These were some giant bluegills, man. Taste test. Well, honey, what you think, MG, about the bluegill? Pretty good? Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. We'll have to do another one of these. If you guys get, how many likes we need for this, MG? For us to eat fish together? For us to do another catch and cook. <laughs> I was like, what? We'll, we'll do another catch and cook with a different species. Um, 75 likes. How about the we do a poll with different species of fish on there we'll do that yeah i'll put it on youtube i'll do a, a poll of what species you got species you guys want to see me eat we'll do like four different ones or something and if this video gets 60 we'll do another 60 likes like we did on the last one to do this video 60 likes we'll do whichever has the highest percentage on the poll yeah. we'll do that but yeah well that's gonna do it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed me cooking these bluegills a little catch and cook off the side of the spillway here had a good time ran into my boy mg shout out to him for being on video we're gonna finish eating these sandwiches clean all this stuff up get out of here and if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button hit that like button and most importantly don't forget keep it real it's your boy eddie and i'm out peace